Hello, in this series of lectures, I'm going to talk about neural networks. The book that I have selected to talk about is the book written by Dr. Martin Hagen, and its title is Neural Network Design. At the end of each chapter, there are multiple solved problems that I'm going to go over them. So I start with chapter two. The first question is about a single input, single output neuron. So P is the input to the neuron and A is the output of the neuron. And N is the input to the transfer function F. W is the weight and B is bias. And for calculating output of a neuron, we use this formula. So let's look at the question. So in this question, P is given as input W is given, bias is also given, and we are asked to find n as the input to the transfer function. n equals wp plus b equals 2.3 times 2 minus 3, 4.6 minus 3, 1.6. So n equals 1.6. For the second part, we are asked to find output of the neuron, or a. a equals function of n or f of 1.6. But as the transfer function is not determined in this question, we cannot find the output. So this is the end of solution. For the next question, we are given the transfer function for this single input, single output neuron. And we are asked to find A. A equals transfer function of 1.6. So the first transfer function is hard limit. So Let's look at this function. So for n less than 0, it is always 0. For n equals or greater than 0, it is 1. Therefore, a equals, I'm just going to write its MATLAB function name as, it's, as the name of the function part lim of 1.6 equals is greater than 0 is positive so we can have a as 1 so a equals 1 the second one is just the linear function a equals n you can see it's a linear function so I have a equals this matlab function is pure lim 1.6 is 1.6 and for the last one we are going to use a function like sigmoid this function when n goes to minus infinity it's zero and when it goes to positive infinity it's one so we have a equals like sigmoid of 1.6 equals as it is a va it has it's a continuous value so we should substitute in here so that is 1 over 1 plus e to the one power of 1.6 equals its final value is 0.8320 okay so up to now we had only 
one input one output for the next question we will have a, a multiple input and one output uh, network so you can see we have p1 to pr and we have a and the function is this one but this time wp is a, a multiplication between two vectors not the scalars so first I'm going to calculate input to the transfer function or n so we know n equals wp plus b w is 3 2 p is minus 5 6 consider that now I'm uh, transposing that so it's gonna be uh, two rows and one column so it's minus 15 plus 12 is minus 3 so a we are going to use a transfer function symmetrical hard limit transfer function is this one that says for n less than 0 a equals minus 1 our n is also less than 0 so a is hard this is not for symmetric of minus 3 equals minus 1 for the second one is saturating linear transfer function so for n equal less than 0 a equals 0 so a equals saturating sat lin of minus 3 or 0 and for the last one is this function we are just going to substitute n so it's, it will be equals minus 3 equals power of minus 3 plus 3 that's gonna be 9 4 4 6 eight. okay so for this um, structure of the network we had multiple inputs and single output but for the last problem we have multiple input multiple output function so you can see a has a s times one so it has we have s number of outputs and we have r number of inputs and this is the function here a is a vector So let's read the question. So we have P is given as number of inputs, which is R. Um, P is R input and its dimension R is 6. And we have two outputs. So therefore, S equals 2 and then the first question is how many neurons are required the number of neurons is s so you know it's two and then the second question is what are the uh how about what are the dimensions of the weight matrix so w here you can see this is s times r so it is two by six and the third question is what kind of transfer function could be used so let's look at the question the output are to be limited to and continues over the range zero to one so one possible transfer function is like sigmoid when it goes to positive infinity it is one and when it goes to negative infinity its value is zero so that's the answer to this question so what kind of 
transfer function we can use we can use this type like sigmoid and the last question is uh, is bias required we could say yes or no because we don't have enough information to find out if it is required or not for this question and uh, as a summary uh, we saw for the first problem just structure of a neuron on the second problem we found how we can calculate output of different transfer functions and for the third problem we saw uh, multiple input and single output uh, neuron and then we had a multiple input multiple output uh, neuron so uh, that we have uh, multiple uh, structure of multiple input multiple output a network that has multiple s number of neurons inside that uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video